Jean-Christophe Maurice from Inspired Energies, and uh, I'm going to talk about the synastry in astrology. What is the synastry? The synastry is when you compare the chart between two people. So you can really understand what type of energies, the attraction you have between these two peoples and what the connection are and what one person is going to bring to another and vice versa. So very much often people ask me if a relation is compatible, at what level, and you can really see that on, uh, on Synastry. So I took an example of uh, my chart compared with the chart of uh, another person that uh, I met last year and made some impact in my life. So I decided to uh, really compare my chart and the chart of this person. So this person is a, a cancer sign, uh, means she's born in uh, July and I'm born in uh, March. So let me point uh, on uh, the chart uh, what you can see between two people and what is the attraction and uh, what is the level of attraction. So mainly people are attracted on a physical level to the person, the, the energy and the vibration is pretty intense and uh, it's, it can be uh, seen as uh, quite physical. So most often in this, in this example here, you can see my Mars here. So I'm going to point it, my Mars is here. I'm going to take the blue color, my Mars, well, I'm going to take actually another color. I'm going to take a, a black color. Here we go. So here's my Mars here, okay. Here. And here is the Venus person. So this is my chart in this circle here. You see all my planets here. My Sun, my Jupiter, my, uh, my Venus, for, exam for example. And in this circle here, I'm just going around, you have the chart of the other person with, the, uh, with uh, her planets. So for instance, this, this person has a, a Mars conjunct Saturn uh, in her chart. So it's a feminine chart, actually, by the way. So you can see really uh, uh, when Mars is conjunct to Venus, there is very often a physical attraction and it's more often Mars who is um, really attracted to Venus and the energy flows really good and you can see there's some uh, uh, very intense uh, attraction usually. So it happens very much in, uh, in Sinastri in uh, between people who are physically attracted uh, to each other on a physical way. And you can say eventually on a sexual way. Uh, so this person as well as a sun right on my uh, north node. So this person for me is going to be really illuminating the path of my life, the destiny where I'm going to go. So she is going to be like uh, bringing some uh, really bright and uh, sunny energy, really positive. So I could have uh, felt that really strong when I, uh, I met uh, this person. So this person as well is uh, putting uh, uh, a moon right on my ascendant Aries. So she's going to have a serious impact on, uh, on my emotions and the way I, uh, I feel. Uh, as well, you can see the, the person has a black moon here, or Lilith, right on my Jupiter, and we can say nearly close to my uh, my sun here. So that's a very as well, uh, that's an indice of uh, attraction. Uh, we can see as well another aspect that I've seen, oh yes, it's a kind of an aspect of uh, obsession you can see when the where is this aspect here yes that's when uh, the, the the pluto here of the person is falling right under my moon so there is a kind of uh, i would say uh, on my part a kind of obsession 
so the the Pluto person has a has a very um, strong influence as well on my um, my feelings and my emotions. So that's pretty intense, you know. With a certain way as well, the Pluto person likes sometimes to manipulate a little bit the Moon person. So you can see this aspect here. Uh, interesting that this person as well, uh, uh, North Node is a conjunct to uh, Chiron. So the path of life is going to be um, trying to heal uh, the wounds, you know, and because it's in, uh, that would be in the, the second house, the third house, as well, uh, she will heal uh, herself through communications. So you have a, a lot of aspects you can see, you know, we will take like hours to uh, interpret all that, all this aspect. The red aspect usually here, uh, like this, for instance, this aspect in red are usually uh, squares and opposition. So they are a bit challenging. They need to, um, uh, they're not negative, but they, they need some work. And usually the blue and the, the green, uh, the green are the trigons. So the energy flows and everything goes really well uh, together between the two persons. So you can really see in sign astry uh, on a work level, uh, like a work colleague, uh, of course, uh, like a, a love relationship, a relation with your boss, uh, a relation with your family or your mother, your sister. So you, you can really uh, compare two charts and see what the energy flows between the these two persons. It's really, really interesting. After a few years, I, I studied that, especially um, on the level of attractions. So it's uh, it's fairly often uh, uh, where you can see as well the um, the positive and the more uh, tense aspect. For instance, in this example, if you see here, this person and Mars in uh, in Scorpio, so really intense and uh, emotional and really uh, deep, uh, really square to my um, to my Mars here. So it's going to be a bit of tension as well. You can see that uh, both people have two different type of uh, combativity, aggressivity. So in a daily life, it can be a little bit uh, problems, basically. So we could spend a lot of time like trying to interpret this um, this silent street chart between these two people, my chart and the other persons. Uh, that was an example. And uh, <clears throat> you can really go in depth interpreting this uh, this uh, cyber stream. Okay, I hope it was helpful, and uh, talk to you soon.